Kane Creek is in Fletcher, North Carolina, which is in the mountains of North Carolina, Western North Carolina, just south of Asheville. We've been here since 1994, make, manufacture high-end bicycle products. We primarily build bicycle headsets, which is the bearing assembly that lets the fork steer in the frame of the bike, and we manufacture rear suspension components, both coil sprung and air sprung versions. This was a product that we invented here at Cane Creek and manufacture here at Cane Creek uh, on our machines. And this product we also invented at Cane Creek and we manufacture some of the parts. We bring in some of the parts from outside suppliers and we assemble uh, every one of these shocks here in Fletcher. Joss had said that they had a lot of their stuff done out of the country, but he was seeing more and more people wanting the Made in America label. And so they were considering buying a piece of equipment to start manufacturing the parts here for a number of reasons. One of them being that they could label it Made in America. Uh, another being that they'd be, have more uh, versatility, less lead time, the ability to do research and development in-house. Um, it was a win all the way around. When we bought our first machine in, it was primarily for the manufacturing of bicycle headsets. And so Sandvik uh, came in and worked with us so that we could outfit our turret and our lathes with a number of tools so we could manufacture a broad range of products with a very limited number of tools and do so in an efficient way. Josh needed to um, speed up the process a little bit. He also needed to look at some multiple uses for, for tools. So I introduced him to like the Captain Quick Change system for his drilling and boring stations. That enabled him to have one station for drilling where he had before he was trying to do two or three different type drills, uh, a couple of different boring bars, so he was able to set up two stations. We also, at that time, we had recently come out with core turn excess small bars. He does a lot of internal grooving and steps inside these aluminum components, so the core turn excess worked out really well for him. We run a various Sandvik tools. We run the 880 drills, Capto style. We run the 107 boring bars and uh, turning tools. We run the excess uh, quick change grooving and uh, boring and parting tools. And we run uh, some of the, the groove turn as well as the cutoff tools. This is our new product. It's uh, the air sprung shock for mountain bikes. And this is the product um, that represents our next project with Sandvik. All right, well, we're trying to help Josh tool up his new machine. He's looking at purchasing now a uh, CNC machining center. There's a new component uh, that they've developed, and it's a little bit more complex than what was on the lathes, but the same things are applying. And we're working with him and our distributor partner and the machine tool manufacturer to come up with a process and fixturing for the new component. I think Cane Creek is one of these companies that you hear so many of the politicians talk about. Um, it's kind of a small company. They're extremely forward thinking, they're aggressive, and they're successful. I, I, I couldn't be happier being considered a partner with them. <laughs>